Hello and welcome to my patch notes rundown for the 7th of May. This week's patch notes introduces some decent quality of life changes to the gameplay settings navigation functions, a slight rework to the wealth evaluator and finally players are no longer kicked out of the puzzle door interface when attacked. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Added a search bar to the gameplay tab in the settings menu. I'm a big fan of this, even as a veteran player I often get lost in trying to find specific settings. For example, a recent incident where I didn't know how to switch to the EOC combat mode after hopping back from a legacy world to a normal one. I spent almost 5 minutes looking for it before asking for help and if you didn't know, it's within the additional options rather than the combat and action bar settings. Made improvements to the wealth evaluator. Added a miscellaneous row that gives the wealth within various storages, like the metal bank and the archaeology material storage. Added the ability to see wealth values for bank tabs. I really like the ability to price check specific tabs as I love hoarding loot from PVM but found it too inconvenient to price check without having to fill several inventories and do math. An additional change made to these two updates was that they reworked the style of the interface and made the text significantly larger. Relica has been graphically reworked. You guys know me, I'm a big fan of the art team and I will preface this by saying that I love 99% of the changes, especially the structural and environmental redesigns. However, I sometimes feel like we're losing a lot of the vibrancy and liveliness within the color schemes of certain environments. Let's test this. In this image, do you prefer the color of the wood in A or B? A is actually ages old whereas B was recently implemented with the Ardune graphical rework. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. The in-game calendar has been reworked. This is pretty nice with the exception of Treasure Hunter being included, but the one thing that I liked above all else was the interface including all details when clicking on certain events and updates, as well as the option to join the event or open a news post. The Barrow's Door Puzzle interface will now remain open while being attacked. This is a great change allowing players to focus on the puzzles without having to worry about it being cancelled by monsters. Change the collection of daily sand and daily flax from hard reset to soft reset. Hard reset refers to when a reset like a daily occurs forcefully when the game time hits midnight, whereas a soft reset requires a player to relog after midnight. Players can now choose which gendered voice they use during combat and emotes. This can be changed at the makeover mage. A wandering soul and shambling horror disturbances should no longer be blocked at the Ungal ritual site. And that's it for this week's patch notes. I'm really excited but also nervous for the upcoming roadmap reveal. They really need to get the existing player base excited for the future of the game again. Anyways, that's it from me. Thank you for watching and take care.